Hi everyone. Um, I'm a little sick this week and my voice is almost completely gone. So please bear with me as I try to get through this. Um, so for my Francophone country, I picked uh, Madagascar um, or La Republique de Madagascar. Uh, Madagascar is a small island off the coast of Africa. Um, this is the flag and the seal. Um, the official language of Madagascar is French and Malagasy. Uh, although French is an official language, only about 20% of the population is fluent. It is primarily a second language for the more educated and wealthy people of Madagascar. Um, most of the people do, however, speak some French enough to get by, but uh, Malagasy is really the primary language of the country. Um, and then this is just to show you um, hello and goodbye in Malagasy, which is Salama and Valoma. Don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Um, the capital of Madagascar is Antananarivo. Uh, it's also known as Tana. Um, Tana has a population of around 1.3 million people and it is located basically the center of Madagascar in the higher um, regions, the more high and dry. Uh, some of the main tourist attractions in the capital are the Rova Palace Complex Ruins, which were once home to the rulers of the Kingdom of Imerina and the Kingdom of Madagascar in the 17th through the 19th century. Another tourist hotspot is the Musée de l'Art et Uh If you're in the mood to see wildlife, you can also visit Lemurs Park with a croc farm. And these are just some pictures of those places. So this is the Rova Palace complex ruins. Uh, this is the Musée de l'Art et de Archaeology. Uh, Lemur Park and croc farm. Um, the population of Madagascar is roughly 30 million people throughout the island. Um, in Madagascar, roughly 80% of the population practice Christianity, uh, the majority of those being Protestant Christians as opposed to Catholic. Uh, however, about 7% practice traditional faiths, such as Fambagasi, which is a form of the Malagasy mythology. Um, Malagasy mythology has lots of different forms. Um, there's a lot of different um, cultures within the Malagasy people. Um, this is actually a sacred tree in Bieri in Madagascar. Um, and this is more to do with uh, the Malagasy mythology. Um, there is a legend behind this tree and it is a tourist hotspot. Um, the legend is that locals that locals usually tell is that a nearby river threatened to flood the village and cause a catastrophe to the many people living there. In order to save the village and its people, the king consulted with the priest about what could be done. And they said that a young virgin girl should be sacrificed together with a young boy in a banyan leaf. As a result, the river changed its course and the village was spared. After a while, a tree started growing and it is said that it is the reincarnation of the boy and the girl who keep looking after the village. And uh, the village name is Miari, which uh, actually means deviation in Malagasy. Um, and this is a religious area uh, and locals and tourists, I'm sure, but Primarily, locals are not allowed to even touch the tree. It is sort of to, it's considered a taboo. Um, and taboos, or fatties, as they call them, are very typical in Malagasy mythology. Uh, and they're also a way to honor ancestors. So if an ancestor had a specific taboo, um, keeping that to, taboo alive after the ancestor has passed is a way to honor them and remember them. And it's also said that if you ignore the taboos that your ancestors set before you, that they will come back to haunt you. <laughs> um, and Malagasy mythology, although it's not practiced as um, 
widespread as it used to be, even in Christian um, religious sections and Christian people, Malagasy mythology is still pretty pr prevalent and they do incorporate a lot of the traditions into their practice in Christianity, which is nice to see. Um, the national flower of Madagascar is the Poinciana, or its scientific name is the Delanix regia. Um, it is native to Madagascar, but is widely cultivated throughout the world. It is often referred to as the flame tree or the flame of the forest because of its bright colors. This picture with the tree is it in full bloom. And then this close-up of the flower, um, the flower is actually quite large on the tree too. Um, it's very beautiful and it does, there is a species of the tree that has a yellow bloom, but that is a lot more rare. Red is usually typical. Uh, the national sport in Madagascar is rugby. However, soccer is very popular as well as uh, petin cue which is a French game similar to lawn bowling or uh, bocce ball is what I think of. Um, a largely popular spectator game is merengue. Uh, this is more popular in the coastal regions of the country. Uh, merengue is a hand-to-hand -hand combat sport, mostly played by men. Um, On to the cuisine. So Ramazava is considered the national dish in Madagascar with families making their own versions. It is generally made in a single dish and will contain beef, pork, and or chicken cut into cube shapes. It will also have spinach, tomatoes, garlic, and onions. Of course, this varies from household to household. Um, Ramazava is normally served over rice. Rice is actually the most eaten food in Madagascar, with most people incorporating it into all three meals. Madagascar cuisine is influenced by Southeast Asia, Indian, European, and African culinary traditions. Uh, the national animal of Madagascar is the lemur, which I'm sure was pretty obvious. Um, lemurs are endemic, uh, and there are approximately 100 living species of lemurs living on the island. Uh, when civilization first came to the island, lemurs were hunted for food quite regularly, and um, many, many, many species are extinct because of that. Today, um, they are protected, obviously, uh, but it, it's also a fatty or a taboo um, to hunt lemurs or really cause any harm to a lemur at all. They're really revered in Malagasy practices. Um, and the national bird, the national bird of Madagascar is the Madagascar fish eagle. It's also known as the Madagascar sea eagle. Uh, this bird is considered considered critically endangered with its main threats being deforestation and soil erosion. Uh, Madagascar is considered a biodiversity hotspot. So 90% of plant and animal species are endemic, which means that they're only found in this particular region. Um, this is mainly due to Madagascar being so isolated. Um, and it's really one of the only places like this, if the only place like this on earth that has such a uh, huge biodiversity region that is only found here. Um, so these are just some examples of some of the cool animals that I found. Uh, this is the Safaka lemur, and it's actually called that because that's what its call sounds like, Safaka. Uh, Madagascar ibis is a forest bird, the red foddy, and then this little guy is the nano chameleon. Uh, this is actually a fully matured chameleon. Um, this is as big as they will get. They're very tiny. And this is it on the tip of somebody's finger. Um, these are found, if you can spot them, in dry forest areas. Um, and then this is the fossa, which is a cat-like um, 
animal <laughs> found in Madagascar only. Um, and that's it. There's my citations. Okay. Thanks.